Hello guys, my name is Robin and I hope you're doing phenomenal today. If that's not the case, I hope you will be doing phenomenal after this video. Because today I'm going to talk about the gaming industry and how you can become a part of it. Um, you know guys, the esports sector and the live streaming sector has seen a tremendous hype in the past years and this trend is not going to stop anytime soon. Games are getting bigger, compilations are getting better and the younger generations tend to be more knowledgeable of the internet and technology in general. Now, if you are planning to jump on this new wave by starting your live streaming career, keep in mind that you are more likely to succeed in this field of work if you are passionate about video games and have no problem to openly talk to an audience. Although you may never see your viewers, they are still actively watching and reaching out to you on a daily basis. So keep that in mind. With this quick reminder out of the way, let's start with a blueprint on how to actually achieve monetary success playing video games. If you aren't familiar with Twitch.tv, it's a live streaming website where thousands of people from all around the world stream video games, real life events or even themselves having dinner. And yep, you heard me correctly, they film themselves eating in front of people. There are certain categories that are allowed to be streamed, but if you decide to stream sports events for example, you will quickly get banned because Twitch is very strict when it comes to their terms of service. You should also be aware that swearing and all kinds of controversial topics, or even if you show pictures of some sort of nudity, even if it's sent to you by someone in the chat and you accidentally click on it, you don't know what's gonna happen with the link, but if it turns out to be like someone naked, you could get banned as well. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Both Twitch and YouTube have a chat function during each live stream where the streamer can interact with his or her followers. And some of the people on the internet tend to be provocative so don't go down to that level of stupidity and just focus on your gameplay. In order to keep everything nice and clean in your chat you can also choose certain moderators who are allowed to ban users from your channel if they detect misbehavior. For actually streaming your screen and gameplay, we recommend downloading OBS, which is the open broadcaster software, since it's free and relatively easy to use. For editing some highlight scenes of your streams, you can use DaVinci Resolve, it's also free. In the beginning, make sure to go through the settings of your Twitch account and activate some of the panels on your channel. Those will make the stream more interactive and that's what it's all about anyway, interacting with your viewer base. Rule number one on Twitch is that you are actively engaged in your chat. You should always read it so that you can include your audience in the stream and to communicate with them. They will appreciate it very much and they will tell others about you and keep in mind that word of mouth is extremely powerful on platforms like Twitch. You should also try to integrate your audience in your streams. Some options to do that would be setting up a donation software, letting your viewers decide the music that's playing shouting some of them out directly or letting them decide what games to play, for example. It's very important to develop a good relationship with your core audience because they are the ones who really care about you and who are going to support you through thick and thin. I've seen some streamers getting big in the past because they are using Plug DJ to play music in the streams and Plug.DJ is basically a website where everyone can join in a room and then get in the schedule to play their own music from YouTube. They can paste a link and then when it's their turn, their music video is going to play. When it comes to creating a brand through your persona, it's important to stay cool and relaxed. Show people how you are, talk to your audience, do some cool stuff, open mail or gifts or do something else and just be yourself. Be authentic. You either become popular on Twitch by being entertaining or really good at a game. If you manage to do both, you'll be really big one day. Streaming is a great way to let people get to know you and grow a passionate audience. If there are a lot of funny moments, your viewer base is more likely to create a highlight scene and send it to their friends, for example. You profit from this as well, since it's now your turn to showcase this highlight on your channel. It sounds like a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. It's all about the content and being entertaining, and trust me, everyone is entertaining in some way. You just have to practice. As I already mentioned, Twitch is mostly used by gamers and therefore gameplays are the most popular type of streams on there. You may have heard from the streamers like Ninja, who is now sponsored by Red Bull, or huge trends like Fortnite. That just goes to show how powerful that platform can be. 
So if you're passionate about video games and if you want to start your own Twitch career, you should definitely go for it. It's relatively easy to use your streams for content on YouTube or even podcasts by the way. You have the possibility to watch your past streams and use the video content, just do some small adjustments in your editing software and you are good to go. If you are too lazy and don't have the know-how, just hire someone from Fiverr.com for example. Once you establish yourself on one platform, it's only reasonable to connect your different social media accounts and start growing them simultaneously. If your followers are passionate about the content you put out, they will support whatever you're doing. In today's day and age, having followers is like owning a new currency basically. I know that sounds dumb, but it's a simple truth. What's the most essential feature on Twitch, I would say, is the subscription service they offer. People are able to subscribe for your channel for $5 a month. By subscribing, the streamer will get a notification and shout your name out and you will have access to the chat and emotes the streamer may have. Now, you don't get the $5, but you get approximately $3 of every new subscription and this is where things get interesting. Because once you start acquiring first subscribers, the curve will grow exponentially because people don't want to miss out. That's the fear of missing out, FOMO. In the end, it's all about pleasing your customers, since they are more likely to return anyway. It's harder to acquire a new subscriber than to keep an existing one. However, Twitch has thought of a solution for that problem as well. Since the platform was bought by Amazon, it's possible to connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch and subscribe to a channel for one month for free. The user pays nothing, but you still get your $3 by Twitch. This way you can make sure to have monthly income and if it's enough, one day you make a living of it. Congrats, you turned your hobby into a well-paying job. Some of the most successful streamers have around 20,000 subscribers on a regular basis and much more if there are special events or the hype around the streamer rises. You do the math here. Let's also not forget advertisements on your live stream and saved videos. You can choose to automatically upload your stream on your Twitch channel and every time someone wants to watch it, they get an ad. The same goes for ads during your actual live session. You decide when you want to show ads on your live stream by clicking a small button on your Twitch dashboard. Now, I'm by no means saying that it's easy to achieve those numbers. It's a goddamn hard journey for sure, but not impossible. Even if you missed the huge trend of YouTube and Twitch, you can still grow on these platforms with some effort. It's important to be consistent with your streaming times and ask your viewers what they want to see. Some streamers are only playing one video game to catch all the hype, Fortnite for example, and others stream a variety of games to please everyone. This is all up to you. Try to cooperate with other streamers and be part of tournaments so your name gets out there. If you're entertaining and some funny stuff happens on your stream, be prepared to appear on YouTube, because someone is most likely always finding the funniest stuff happening and uploading it to their YouTube channel for a top 10 Twitch fails compilation or something like that. This is good publicity for you my friend, so keep it up. Once you achieve a solid viewer base and are active on your social media channels, brands are going to reach out to you for sponsoring. Many live streamers and YouTubers are sponsored for example by GFuel or even computer manufacturers themselves. Check out for example twitch.tv slash lyric and look beneath the streaming window. You'll find neatly organized and themed buttons to click, which leads to various websites for him to make money if you purchase something. He averages around 20,000 viewers per stream who are all going to see these links. You know, you have truly made it if a video game publisher starts asking you and paying you to stream their game and to give honest feedback about it. They can then even give you a custom discount code and every time one of your viewers uses that discount code on their game, you earn a percentage of the profit. This is called affiliate marketing. Another way to monetize your followers is by putting out merch for example. Every big streamer has a banner underneath the stream with some limited time merch that isn't limited at all. They hire an artist to sketch something related to their stream and use a website to fulfill their orders. Those websites are designbyhumans.com or redbubble.com for example. Say something along the lines, if you send a picture of you wearing my shirt, I will repost it on my Twitter and Instagram. And boom, you just made a couple of thousand bucks, if you are relatively well known on Twitch. You can also simply use affiliate links in your channel overlay, which link to the headset you are using on Amazon or review some new stuff you just bought. From time to time people will at least check it out, if not even buy it, 
and this is an easy but effective way to create a side income stream. Just google Amazon Affiliate Marketing Program and convince yourself. Now, the main problem you are going to face is how to become popular on Twitch instead of how to monetize your audience, because once you are relatively well known, you will have no problem to earn that money. We already mentioned being part of tournaments, jumping on new and hyped games and utilizing YouTube by creating memorable experiences and moments. There is however always another possibility if none of that seems to work. Paid advertising. Facebook, YouTube, Reddit and even Twitch itself make it very easy to run marketing campaigns to a wide audience. We have published a whole ebook about the power of Facebook's advertising manager and how you can use it to your advantage effectively. Here's a short version of how you can actually gain access to the Facebook Ads Manager and run some ads. First you have to create a Facebook page for your actual Twitch name and then go to the Business Manager. You can then start a campaign and target men aged 18 to 35 interested in video games and from North America, Europe and Australia for example. Then you would create the ad itself, showcasing some funny moments of your stream or some other funny things happening on Twitch. You could also introduce yourself, who you are and have some gameplay highlights playing in the background. A secret tip I want to give you is that Instagram story ads work great at the moment and will drive a lot of traffic to the target page if done right. TikTok is also a very viable option for gaming advertisements and videos itself, so make sure to jump on that as well. Now. Some final words, you should always keep in mind that websites constantly gain and lose interest, that it's not unlikely for Instagram, Twitch and other social media platforms to get replaced. You have to adapt if this becomes a real scenario and transfer your follower base from one website to another. TikTok replacing some areas of Instagram is a perfect example. Since the audience on TikTok is pretty young, you can gain traction with top 5 gaming moments or fail videos for example. These videos can then be repurposed and edited to fit your other social outlets. The perfect way to spread the word around your channel. We know this seems like a lot of information in a very short amount of time, but don't worry. Once you really start pursuing this path, you'll learn quickly. Please don't make the mistake of taking this career as a hobby though, because it's not. You're building a legitimate business which takes a lot of time and effort to grow, but will eventually bear fruits if done consistently. The key to achieving success in every field is patience. If you are patient and put out your content consistently, you will definitely make some impact on this world. Thousands of people have done it and I am going to do it. I need a username. So with that being said, have a great time gaming and I'll see you guys on the next one.